as we have already discussed the concept of ratio and equivalent uh, ratios in our previous lectures now we will see what is the relationship what is the relationship between ratio and fractions ratio and fractions okay as we know that ratio is the simplest form of common fractions ratio is the simplest form of simplest form of common fractions but how we have to see it here let's discuss it for example we have a fraction of 1 over 2 it is equal to 1 ratio 2 here we have a fraction and a ratio this is the fraction the fractional form of 1 1 and 2 and this is the ratio so if we write in both form it is it is uh, actually the same here in in fraction while uh, discussing the fraction we have this one we call it numerator the number and the uh, uh, at the upper place is the numerator it is called numerator and it is called the denominator in the fraction and while in case of ratio this is called consequent consequent and this is called antecedent So these are the few terminologies that you have to keep in your mind while finding the relationship between ratio and fractions. So it is clearly shown here that ratio and fractions are the same thing but the, dif but the difference between them is the way they are written and the, and the some terminologies that are used to represent the numbers. Now we will see how we can do the ratio simplification. As we need, as we have to, why we are going to do the ratio simplification that we sometimes have multiple um, uh, ratios where there are fractions and we have to uh, get the reduced form. So when we want to get the reduced form of a ratio, then we can do the ratio simplification. Ratio simplification can be done easily by taking an example. Let's take an example. For example, you have a question like 16 ratio 20 and you want to have the reduced form of this ratio. How you will get it? Let's see. This is your target. How you will get the reduced form? So, we can get the reduced form by finding the HCF of 16 and 20 first. Let's find the HCF. 16, 2 are 16, 2 4 are 8, and 2 are 4. Okay, then we have 20, 2 10 are 20, 2 5 are 10, and 5 times are 5. Okay, now let's see. We have the factors 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, and then 2 into 2 into 5. Okay. These are the common factors. So, 2 into 2 equals to 4. So, the HCF of 16 and 20 is 4. Now, we will see that we have to divide both the numbers 16 and 20 with HCF. It means 16 divided by 4 and 20 divided by 4. Means 16 by 4 
ratio 20 by 4. 4 4s are 16, 4 5s are 20, means 4 ratio 5. So, this is the reduced form of 16 ratio 20. Reduced form of 16 ratio 20 or you can say this was the simplification of a ratio it means whenever you want to find the reduced form of a ratio you have to divide the two numbers the two numbers with with its hcf so we have divided the uh, we have divided it with the hcf of the two numbers let's take another example where we have the uh, where, where we will have fraction so you can further understand it properly. We have 2 over 3 ratio 4 by 7. What we will do? We will find its LCM first. Three, the LCM of 3 and 7. When we have the fractions, we will find the LCM. When we, when we have, we don't have the fractions and just the just we have in, uh, done in our previous example here we uh, here as we uh, we have here fractions in the ratio so we have to do what we have to find the lcm of 3 and 7 let's find their lcm lcm will be its lcm will be 3 and 7 3 ones are 3, 7 and 7, 7. Okay. It means its LCM is going to be LCM will be LCM is equals to 3 into 7 equals to 21. So, we have to multiply the both the numbers this one and this one with 21. It means 2 by 3 multiplied by 21 ratio 4 by 7 multiplied by 21 3 ones are 3 7 by 21 7 ones are 7 3 are 20 it means 14 ratio 12 okay we have got the number 14 ratio 12 now it can be reduced further as we have done in the uh, uh, previous example how we have to find the HCF of 14 and 12. Let's find their HCF 14 2 7s are 14 7 1s are 17 7 are 7 and 12 2 6s are 12 2 3s are 6 3 1s are 3 so we will write them as 2 equals to 2 into 7 and 2 into 2 into 3 means 14 and 12 equals to so this is 2 so this is the HCF so we have got the HCF equals to 2 so we have to divide both of them with the 2 2 7s are 14, 2 6s are 12. So this comes up with the 7 ratio 6. This is the reduced form of the ratio 2 by 3 and 4 by 7. So keep these things in mind that by using the LCM and HCF, you can easily reduce a ratio in the fractional form in the simplest form of the given of the given ratios so this is how you can reduce your ratios by using the hcf and lcm hope so this this will be will be helpful for solving out your uh, complex expressions very easily thank you